Hey guys, today I'm going to talk to you about the newly released Novu 100 watt GAN charger. Let's find out more. Before we start, this is a sponsored showcase of the Novu 100 watt GAN charger. However, I've been using Novu chargers for the last year or so. I've actually been using the predecessor to the 100 watt charger, which was their 67 watt charger for a little over a year. I take it with me everywhere I travel and absolutely love it. And I'm actually excited to replace it with the more powerful 100 watt charger. What's interesting about this 100 watt charger is the fact that it's actually pretty compact for its power. So when you put it next to the 67 watt charger, it is larger, but not by much. To give you some reference, this over here is Novo's older 120 watt charger. And look at the size difference between those. And it's remarkable that uh, although this is slightly more powerful at 120 watts, but the size difference, as you can see, is really remarkable. Now, of course, the newer 100 watt GAN charger is thicker than the older 120 watt one, but in terms of portability and overall footprint, I would rather carry this with me than this thing. Another issue I sometimes faced with this one, when I'm plugging it into work desks, for example, sometimes into a, a recessed power socket, this charger was too long to properly fit in. And sometimes if you have more than one socket next to each other, this one essentially voids the other socket. So I'm way more excited about this compact size. And to be honest, if I'm carrying the 67 watt, this is only slightly larger in size, but the gain in power is significant. And here's why. So all these are three port chargers. There's two USB-C ports and one USB-A. If you're charging one device at a time, you're gonna get the full power. So around 100 watts on this one and 67 watts on that, that's fine. What happens if you're charging two devices, and often when I'm traveling, I'm charging my laptop, but also my iPad or sometimes my phone. With the 67 watt charger, port C1 drops to 40 watts to give port C2 about 30 watts. Which means when I'm charging my laptop, the dropping the wattage to 40 watts isn't always ideal, especially when I'm using my Windows laptop, which usually comes with a 130 watt charger. And this is where the more powerful 100 watt GAN really shines. If you're using one port, you get the full 100 watts. If you're using two ports, port C1 drops to 70 watts, which is still powerful enough for most laptops. And then port C2 gives you 30 watts, which is sufficient to fast charge your phone and also fast charge an iPad. If you use the USB-A port, you're only gonna get 18 watts and that's a limitation of the USB-A technology, not the charger itself per se. Now, what I really like and how they implemented their power sharing, if you have three devices attached, instead of sharing power rather equally or in similar proportions between the two USB ports, what they've done is they've maintained 70 watts for port one and then port two and the USB-A both get 12 watts. And the reason I like this is because we're guaranteeing for a laptop, which is port C1, enough power and prioritizing that over a fast charge of your secondary device, which is often the phone or an iPad. And to be honest, I would very much rather my laptop be charging at 70 watts and my phone or iPad at 12 watts rather than them charging at 20 or 25 watts. So I'm, I'm really happy they opted for this power share, whereby we prioritize high power for one device at least, which is port C1, and then port C2 and the USB-A port still get about 12 watts of power each. I did test this charging my Dell laptop and I got about 90 watts using port C1. Of course, 100 watts is a theoretical in practice. It is a bit less and it also fluctuates depending on the power needs of the device and how much power it is drawing. And then when I plugged in my iPad while the laptop was charging, I got about 70 watts from port C1 charging my laptop, which was great. This here is the US version, which has the retractable US prongs. They also do have a European version, which is unfortunately a bit bulkier. And that's because of the European prongs, which are initially much larger than the US ones, but also they're not retractable uh, like the US one is. And lastly, what I love about these chargers is that they're great value for money. They're not very expensive. I will put links in the description to the product page so you can check the price at the moment you're watching this review. These are affiliate links. So if you do decide to purchase this, I would appreciate if you would go through these links. I may earn some commission on some purchases at absolutely no extra cost to you, but this will greatly help support the channel. Thanks for watching. If you liked the video, please hit the like button and consider subscribing to my channel as this encourages me to continue producing content. Until next time, cheers.